how we're gonna work on uh, tying the peep. Now this is a uh, kind of a more modern tie method. Uh, if many of you follow me on social media, you'll see that I use a, a rather robust tying method to tie in the peep. Okay, we're gonna work on tying in the peep. We got the, the D loop and the knock sets tied uh, exactly how we want. Now we're gonna tie in the peep. Uh, Brody and I uh, got this peep lined out for him exactly where he wanted it to be, have great alignment at, uh, at 60 yards. We've marked the peep, and now I'm gonna start the, start the tie-in. So the tie-in's gonna start with uh, a double, double overhand knot, like that. Before I cinch it down, I'm gonna rotate that towards the bottom. Just like that. I'm gonna cut another piece of generous, I don't know, two to three feet of the BCY 3D material. Same thing. Double overhand knot. So just like that. Okay, so these not th this, these tag ends these top tag ends here, the ones that are the more left, I should say, they're actually going to we're going to run a series of knots down the uh, down the right side of this. So what I have done is I've positioned, so we've got two pieces of rope that are wrapping around the peep here. I want the want this, I want uh, this set on the far left, and I've got down the, the peep track, it's on the left-hand side of the peep track, and then I've got this set on the right that's on the right-hand side of the peep track. So what I'm gonna do here is this, this uh, these strings that are on the left-hand side of the peep track are going to come down and tie down these two uh, down the, on the right side. And conversely, this bottom set is going to track up this way. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna finish tying these down I'm just getting them really tight. What I'm going to do is, since I'm coming from the top with these two, I'm coming from the top. So I'm always going to go from the bottom up. So I'm going to tie a bunch of half hitches like that. And since I'm coming from the top, I'm going from the top to the bottom. like that. This one, since I'm coming from the bottom on this set, I'm gonna start from the top down. That's the, that's the half hitch. So just like that, I'm gonna do the same thing on this other side, half hitch, I go down, and then I pass that tag in through the loop, just like that. I'm not tightening those down yet, I'm just getting them all ready. And again, the ones on the left-hand side are gonna go to the right-hand side, and the ones on the bottom that are on the right-hand side of the peep track are gonna tie up the, on the left-hand side of the, of the string bundle. And again, from the, since I'm going from the Pulling from the bottom, I'm going to start in the top like that. So now that I've got those knots set all the way around, I'm going to come back to my side here and I'm going to start to pull on both of those evenly so the peep doesn't move. 
It's important that you tie these and you put consistent pressure so that you don't force the peep to move. So what I've done is because the line, both the tag ends that were on the left-hand side of the peep track are, are gonna pull, pull, are gonna pull against the, the, the right-hand side of the string. So we're kind of pulling things together when I do that. So this, this string is pulling these tight and this string is pulling tight from that direction, if that makes sense. I'm gonna do the same thing now over here. I'm gonna cinch these down slowly with even pressure. So they're, they're pulling opposite. like that, that peep didn't move. I'm looking at the marks that we made before. So just like that. So now I'm going to proceed with, uh, with doing another set of half hitches. So again, the string that was coming from the bottom is always gonna go to the top Every time I'm working here on the left-hand side, I'm gonna come in it from, the half hitch is gonna come in from the top, down like that. And on this bottom side, the half hitches are always gonna come in from the bottom. Like that. I'm going to do one more set again, top side, coming in from the top, down, bottom side, coming from the bottom up. Okay, so I've done two, two around. So what I'm going to do is, after I've done those two, I'm going to really pull on them tight. Pull it, everything together. Everything looks tight. So now I'm going to do that. Those same, those same uh, half hitches on the underside. Again, I'm working on the bottom side. So on the bottom side, I'm always coming from the bottom up, just like that. It's one. Bottom up. Two. This one is coming from the top down. Okay, so now that I've tied those half itches, get them in position. I'm gonna pull them tight against each other. So I'm constantly, once I've done a couple of hatches, half itches, I'm pulling them tight against each other like that. So you're locking the, since you're pulling, since I, since the tag ends that were up here, I'm tying down this way and the tag ends that were down here, I'm pulling up this way. Every time I pull that tight, I'm being consistent and pulling everything together so by the time I get done with this, everything has been pulled tight right here, you know, forces opposite of one another. So it really, it really forces this to be tight right, right around the peep. So I'm going to continue that process of a couple of half inches all the way around. We're probably going to speed this up. It's going to be the same exact process. Anytime I'm working on knots on this bottom side, I'm coming up from the bottom up. And anytime I'm working on knots on this top side, I'm going to come from the top down. So I'm going to speed this up. We're going to get a bunch of these, bunch of these knots tied.
Okay, um, so at this point, you can see that I have an even number of knots, and the knots are um, have come to the edge of the peep here on all sides, so they're all they're all equal. Same number of knots on both sides. After the initial couple, I've proceeded to do eight knots down every side, uh, just like that. I'm basically now to the edge of the peep with those knots, so I'm gonna proceed and probably do four more knots as um, all the way around to kind of get those knots out and out and out and away the peep and extending uh, a little a little past that. So probably four more knots all the way around, and uh, she'll probably be be done at that point. Okay, so he's really zoomed in on these last last few, so really show how illustrate how I'm tying these knots. Again, on the, the set, the bottom set, I'm coming up from the bottom. And then I'm coming over down through that hole. That's the half hitch. So I'm going to do four more of those all the way around. I like to do them in, in, in batches of two. So again, from the bottom up, down, just like that. On the top, again, on the top side, I'm coming down from the top down, so the same knot. Top down on that second knot. And I'm gonna, like I said, I do them in bunches of two and then I, I pull everything tight. Like that. Brody just made the comment, this peep is never coming off, and that is true. Uh, you could, we could tow a truck from this peep and it wouldn't, it wouldn't move. That's extremely important because once you get this peep set, you do not want it to move. If this peep moves, you'll have accuracy, vertical accuracy problems. Um, and it's just very important that, that the peep doesn't move. And the other benefit um, is when you tie in a peep like this, you, you'll see that the rotation has never changed relative to the D loop. If you do the method where you kind of back serve down here and you and you uh, you back serve down here and you use one continuous strand, you back serve, use one continuous strand, you come down here, you do some loops, and then you back serve down this. That that will pinch the string down, the string material around the peep, so you end up getting a rotation effect so the peep doesn't sit in the same position as it sat before you started tying it. When you tie it like this, the peep doesn't change position. Um, so it always stays in the same relationship with the D loop, which is really nice. So I, I did two, two knots. I'm going to finish with two more and then this side will probably be done and I'll pull it tight. So again, top side, I go from the bottom down. Pulling those tight. One, Finish the two. So bottom side, I go from the bottom up. That side's pretty much done. I'm going to pull everything nice and tight one more time. Okay, then I'm gonna do two sets of two on this back side. Okay, so top side again, bottom, or from top down. Now you can see, as long as I kept my count, which it looks like I did, that we have an even even number of knots and you get this, if you can see it, you get this really nice spiral, kind of twisting spiral look. It's pretty aesthetic uh, when, you, when, you've done the, when, the, when you've done the knots right. 
And that's, that's essentially it. I like to take it, uh, this is a really big peep, um, but I, I do like to run these knots to the point where you get them out and, and off the peep, um, like I've shown here. So now we're gonna work on finishing this. Okay, so what we need to do, now that we've pulled, pull it tight one more time off this side. We're gonna cut the tag ends, like I showed previously about, um, about a centimeter away. So one, one thing that, we, that I like to do here is since we are so close to string material here before I burn them, just maybe out of paranoia. I like to do, I like to take some of this serving that I just cut off and I like to uh, kind of wrap it around the string so that when I burn that tag end, I don't accidentally burn the string. So this just kind of gives me some serving material to protect it. So I'll kind of just wrap it around. Doesn't matter really how you do it. This is totally not necessary, but it's just a, a safety precaution. So now you can see that in and around the vicinity of me burning this tag end, there is no string material exposed. So take my lighter. Where did I put the lighter? Lighter's over here from the D-loop. So again, I'm gonna burn the knot so nothing is above it. And, I'm, and I've got that serving material right there to protect the, the bare string. Touch that down just like that. Now I can pull this string material, that extra serving material free. And that's that not finished. We'll do the same thing down here. Same exact process on finishing all four of these. Although it seems like, like overkill, I really think it's worth taking the extra precaution when you tie your peep like this to uh, wrap this serving around like I'm doing. You really don't want to burn your string, I'll promise you that. It's not that complicated nor hard to just take some precautions. You can see with that flame getting fairly close since the serving kind of ends abruptly next to the string and see why it's important to get that protected. But that's the finished peep. Um, that came out really, really clean. Uh, and as, as I said before, um, oftentimes when you're tying a peep and you're using that, that back serve method and you pinch this down, oftentimes it'll, it'll, it'll make the peep artificially rotate. And then you got to kind of mess with this D loop to try to get that peep back in, in alignment when you come back to full draw. This method not only holds the peep tighter, you could literally, I mean, your peep isn't, I have no qualms with sitting here doing this. That peep is not going to move. We could tow Brody's truck with this peep and it's not going to move. My and, and, uh, the, uh, and you can see the alignment stayed exactly the same between the D-loop and the peep. Um, as I mentioned before, it's critical that that peep doesn't move in the field. And I think this is by far the most robust way to tie in that peep. You also have the other benefit of having serving material protect the string material. Um, you know, m most peeps these days don't have hard edges. They're, they're made well. But in the event that you did have a peep with a burr or a hard edge, that serving material is going to be there to protect the, the string material in case that happened.